Have you ever thought about how fascinating a car is? It is a device in which you pour some liquid, sit in a chair, and use simple hand and foot movements to get around faster. Today, we'll look at the engine, the component in the car that allows it to move at such high speeds. Curious to know? Let's find out. Number 1. Cylinder Block The main component of an internal combustion engine is the cylinder block. It houses all of the engine's internal functions, such as intake, suction, compression, combustion, and exhaust. In IC engines, the cylinder's function is to hold the fuel and guide the piston. The cylinders are made of cast iron and cast steel to withstand all of the temperature and pressure generated by the combustion of fuel. As a result, the cylinder is designed to have a high compressive strength. Because of the high pressure and temperature, it also necessitates cooling in the engine cylinder. Number 2. Cylinder Head The cylinder head is the top cover of the engine cylinder that covers the cylinder from the top to seal it and prevents air and gas from entering and exiting the system. The head is made according to design specifications from cast iron or aluminum using a forging or casting process. The cylinder head is located above the cylinder block and contains various components such as a spark plug in a gasoline engine, an inlet valve, an exhaust valve, and a fuel injector in a diesel engine. An asbestos packing and a metal gasket are provided to ensure proper leak proofing between the cylinder and the cylinder head. Number 3. Piston A piston moves in a reciprocating motion inside the cylinder, transferring mechanical energy to the crankshaft via the connecting rod. The piston is designed to be strong, light, and capable of withstanding the pressure and temperature generated by the combustion of fuel. The piston is typically made of cast iron or an aluminum alloy. Number 4. Connecting Rod A connecting rod connects the piston to the crankshaft via a piston pin and a crank pin. The connecting rod converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft, acting as a lever arm that transfers motion from one end to the other. One end is known as the big end and is connected to the crankshaft while the other end is known as the small end and is connected to the piston. For the small engine, the connecting rod is made of cast aluminum alloy through the manufacturing processes of heat treatment and forging. Number 5. Crankshaft In an engine, the crankshaft receives power from the piston via the connecting rod and converts this power of reciprocating motion of the piston into rotary motion of the crankshaft, which is then connected to the flywheel and transmission shaft, which is used to move the vehicle. Crankshaft made by casting and forging process from alloy steel or cast iron. Number 6. Combustion Chamber The combustion chamber is surrounded by a cylinder head, cylinder walls, and a piston head where fuel combustion has occurred. Aluminum is used in the combustion chamber because it dissipates heat more efficiently than cast iron. Four round holes in the combustion chamber are used to house valves. Number 7. Manifold the intake manifold is linked to the inlet valves and it is the pipe that helps provide an air-fuel mixture into the engine for proper combustion. In a diesel engine, the intake manifold is only used to bring air into the combustion chamber. The exhaust manifold is responsible for removing exhaust gases from the combustion chamber after combustion. It is connected to the exhaust valves and has the same design and construction as the inlet manifold. Number 8. Spark Plug the spark plug is a device that generates a spark between two electrodes, igniting the combustible mixture within the combustion chamber. It must be able to withstand changes in pressure and temperature. As a result, its primary function is to carry high potential from the ignition system into the combustion chamber. The spark plug creates the proper gap across which a spark is produced when high voltage is applied to ignite the fuel in the CC. Number 9. Fuel Atomizer or Injector at the end of the compression stroke, fuel is injected via an injector and properly atomized into fine droplets. During the suction stroke of a diesel engine or CI engine, only air is drawn into the cylinder and compressed to extremely high pressure. Because compression raises the temperature and pressure of the air to the levels required for fuel ignition, fuel is broken down into a fine spray of very small droplets during the injection process. Because these droplets absorb heat from the hot compressed air, they transform into vapor and mix with air. Because of the continuous heat transfer from the hot air to the fuel, the temperature of the fuel rises above the self-ignition temperature and the fuel begins to ignite. Number 10. Carburetor Carburation is the process of preparing a combustible fuel-air mixture outside the spark ignition engine cylinder. A carburetor is a device that atomizes and mixes fuel and air. A carburetor is a mixing device used in a gasoline engine to supply the engine with an air-fuel mixture. To meet the requirements of automotive engines, it atomizes the fuel and mixes it with air in varying proportions. It is also used to reserve fuel supplies and keep fuel at a constant head. The carburetor is linked to the engine's intake manifold. Number 11. Flywheel Flywheel refers to energy fluctuation. It stores energy and uses it when needed. 
A flywheel is a device that stores inertial energy. The flywheel absorbs mechanical energy and acts as a reservoir when the supply of energy exceeds the demand and it releases it when the supply of energy is insufficient. Number 12. Engine Bearing the bearing is a machine part that allows the shaft to rotate freely with minimal friction. It supports other moving elements and allows relative motion between member and element contact surfaces while carrying the load. Several bearings are used in engines, the most important of which is the engine bearing, which allows the crankshaft to rotate. It is a device used to reduce friction between moving parts of machine elements in order to provide movement with minimal power losses. Number 13. Catalyst Converter Catalytic converters aid in the conversion of harmful gases emitted by engines into safe gases such as steam. It is located on the underside of the vehicle and has two pipes coming out of it. The converter uses two pipes and the catalyst to make the gases safe to be expelled. The catalytic converter is an exhaust emission control device that reduces toxic pollutants and gases from exhaust gases in an IC engine by using chemical reactions and redox reactions. Number 14. Supercharger it is a method of supplying more dense air to the engine so that more fuel can be burned in the same cylinder space. Supercharging is accomplished by increasing the pressure at the inlet using a pressure boosting device known as a supercharger. Number 15. Radiator The radiator is used in engine cooling systems for heat transfer, transferring thermal energy from one medium to another for cooling and heating. A radiator is a type of heat exchanger that removes excess heat from a system. Number 16. Timing belt or chain Timing belts or chains are used in internal combustion engines to connect the crankshaft to the camshaft, allowing the engine's valves to close and open. It aids in the smooth operation of the vehicle's engine. It connects the crankshaft of the engine to the camshaft and is critical in controlling the valves and pistons in our automobiles. The timing belt is made of a reinforced rubber band with high tensile fibers on the inner side that helps very precisely synchronize the engine's valves opening and closing. When the crankshaft of an internal combustion engine turns, it causes the timing belt to move. The timing belt then turns the camshaft and assists in closing or opening each valve as well as allowing the pistons to move up and down. Overall, we can say that the timing belt controls all of the valve opening and closing as well as the timing of the pistons throughout all phases. The timing belt ensures that each step is completed in the correct order. Number 17. Water Pump the water pump's purpose is to continuously circulate engine coolant throughout the cooling system. The water pump serves as the engine's cooling system's heart. The water pump is also known as the coolant pump because it is used to constantly circulate coolant throughout the engine and regulate the cooling system's coolant flow rate. Internal combustion engines use water pumps to distribute heat. Excessive heat can be produced in the engine without a water pump, causing various harmful damage due to overheating. In simple terms, the pump's job is to keep the engine temperature low by dissipating heat. A water pump is required in every vehicle in order for it to run efficiently. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. But before that, we'd like to know your opinion about this. What other engine parts do you know of? Let us know in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.